Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode 84 of the podcast. It is Saturday morning, 9.20 a.m. in Medellin, Colombia. I'm really feeling doing podcast episodes on the weekend. There's something beautiful about just like waking up, slow start, you know, drinking my cup of coffee. I'm in my comfy outfit. It's just a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Now, what I will say is... I don't know if some of you are feeling this, but this past week has just been an absolute wild journey. I have been very emotional this week. A lot of emotions have surfaced this week. I've been learning so much about myself and it's been hard. It's been hard to learn things about yourself that you didn't even realize needs to be healed. And I'll probably make an episode about this sometime further down the road. But what I want to say here is this week has just been a lot. And I've been doing something called shadow work journaling, which by the way, highly recommend. Shadow work journaling is basically a method of journaling where you uncover some of the hidden emotions and triggers that you've maybe have suppressed over the years or suppressed since you were a child. And so I'm doing this 30 day shadow work challenge. My psychic healer actually sent me this workbook and it's been so good because I'm like, wow, there's actually so many things I still need to heal and I haven't done enough work on it. It's clearly showing up in areas of my life, like my business and my relationships. And it's really interesting. And so a lot of emotions have come up this week and I'm, I'm working on healing those things, doing a lot of personal development and a spiritual healing, emotional healing and things like that. I'm really excited to share with you guys my journey and kind of some of the things I've been learning over the past few weeks. Um, still fairly new to it, but I am learning so much and I can't wait to share. So that's kind of been what I've been up to over the past few weeks since slowly settling down into Medellin. And last week I actually hosted a free life training. Thank you everyone who came and attended and listened to what I have to say when it comes to the gut brain skin connection. I went into the science behind why people experience chronic symptoms like eczema, like bloating, like fatigue, and how you can actually heal it through addressing the gut brain skin connection and using the right supplements and having the right protocol. So many of you guys enjoyed it and you had so many great questions. But for those of you who registered for the training and you couldn't attend, I sent out a replay. So make sure you check your emails for the replay because it expires on Thursday, October 3rd, which is in two days. And I am so excited to announce, uh, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, you can see that I'm like jumping for joy. I announced a new membership And this is my gut brain skin membership. It's called the gut brain skin restoration club. This membership guys, like I have been wanting to create this offer for so long because I've always had my signature program, clear eczema, and I've been running that program since 2020. But over the years, a lot of you have asked me if there's another community, another program to work with me that doesn't require like full commitment for the lack of better words, because clear eczema is like a six month program. Once you're in, you're in. And I thought, you know, it's about time that I created something that you can heal all your symptoms, your gut, your brain, your skin, your mindset, have support from me, have a beautiful community of other warriors who are also going through what you're going through. This membership is it. What you get inside this beautiful membership is, by the way, my lashes, guys, for those of you watching YouTube, it is a fucking disaster. I don't know what's going on, but this is, it needs a fill. It needs a fill. <laughs> It looks horrible. But this membership is basically uh, a monthly membership. Inside this membership, you get monthly Q&A coaching calls. So this is where you get to ask me questions about everything and anything related to your symptoms. We'll cover topics like root causes, diet, supplements, skincare, mindset, all of that we're going to talk about inside the monthly Q&A coaching calls. And on top of that, for those of you who really need help with your stress and mindset, we also have monthly meditation and journaling sessions as well. And so you guys know how big I am when it comes to working on your mindset and regulating your nervous system. So we're actually going to do that together in these monthly meditation sessions. And with the membership, you also get community access. So we have a private community chat 
with me inside the chat as well as other members, other like-minded warriors who are also in this program and trying to heal their symptoms. This chat is going to keep you accountable. It's going to support you. And of course, anytime you want to share a win, you want to share struggles, that chat is there for you to be able to share those things with the members in the group and with me as well by your side. In addition to the monthly calls and the group chat, there's also a private learning portal. This is where all the recordings of the meditations of the coaching calls will be posted on. And this is also where you'll receive other resources and video lessons. For example, there's a gut brain skin healing blueprint. This is where it gives you the step-by-step and how to heal your gut, how to heal your skin and any other resources that's going to be helpful for your healing is going to be inside this platform. So many things include it's at such a good price considering the value of everything that's inside the membership you get to join for as low as $49 a month how amazing is that calls meditations resources group chat video lessons me as your coach by your side the entire time there's no other offer that is at this price right now and so if you're ready to heal your symptoms you're ready to change your life you're ready to heal your gut mind and skin then join us in the show notes below for as low as 49 dollars a month we are starting literally in two days and spots are filling up quick so get in there guys get in there if you want to upgrade to vip membership we have that option as well. We're almost sold out with the VIP membership and it's basically the general membership. And in addition to that, you get one-on-one coaching calls with me, private text access, clinical assessment, blood work review. All of the info is actually in the show notes below. So you can read up and all about that. And yeah, I'm so excited to see you guys inside. If you have any questions, please let me know. We begin Thursday, October 3rd, which is literally in two days. So you don't want to miss out on our very first call. Okay, let's get into today's episode, which I feel like is a nice transition from the launch of my offer because the episode is all about, are you really showing up for yourself? And this is the episode where I want you to really reflect on your actions, your thoughts, and what you're actually avoiding that you might need to actually work on for your healing journey. Maybe also pull out your journal and during the episode, you can pause this or journal about some of the questions that I'll be asking you that might be hard questions about your healing journey. So when it comes to whether you are really showing up for yourself in the sense that you are doing the things that you're supposed to be doing in order to heal your symptoms, to heal your skin, to heal your gut, to heal your mindset, there's a difference between thinking about wanting to show up for yourself so your thoughts, and then your actions. And so when it comes to doing things to help heal your body and becoming that best version of yourself, you can want that and desire that and think about how badly you want to heal your skin, how badly you want things to be better. But the question I want to ask is, are your actions actually aligning with your thoughts? And this is really important because a lot of us, really want to achieve this goal, right? We really want to feel better. We really want to heal our bodies. We really want to live a life where we are free from symptoms. But if we actually think about our daily actions, does that align to your goals and your desires? Because if you were to actually think about your day to day, are you just thinking about change or are you actively pursuing it? And that might be the question you want to ask yourself. Am I just thinking a lot about what I want to achieve, what I want to do, or am I actually doing it? Because when it comes to doing things for your body to heal and to become that best version of yourself, to heal your traumas, to heal your emotions. I'm also learning this as well. I used to think I was doing the work. I was like, I'm, I'm, you know, telling myself that it's going to be fine, that I'm getting better, that, you know, it's just, just think positive and just have a good mindset and everything is going to be great. And I thought that would help me heal. Boy, was I wrong because like this week I have been learning so much about myself and all these emotions are surfacing. And the only reason why that these emotions and these triggers are surfacing right now is because I am doing something different than just thinking positive. I am doing shadow work. It's been amazing. I found myself a therapist who is incredible at what she does. And I'm actually having moments where I'm like, wow, this makes so much sense. And so it's rather than me thinking about wanting to get better, it's actually doing the thing that's helping me get there. So number one, a question to ask yourself is, 
am I just thinking about change or am I actively pursuing it? Am I telling myself I want to get better and also aligning my actions to that by eating whole foods, by focusing on more protein intake, by taking my supplements on time, by actually incorporating mindfulness into my routine? It is a non-negotiable. Or am I still brushing that stuff under the carpet and I'm not actually consistent with my actions? There's a difference between actions and thoughts, but there's also a difference between your actions and your intentions. You can have intentions and be like, I want to do all these things and take care of myself, but how consistent are my actions? And that's a question that I want you to ask yourself. And you will know that your actions are aligning with your thoughts when every day you wake up and you're like, wow, I am so proud of myself that I did this today. I'm so proud of myself that I went to therapy and I invested in myself and I feel so much better after every session. I am so proud of myself that I had a very difficult conversation with somebody and that's something that I normally wouldn't be able to do, but I can see that I'm growing because I'm responding to situations a lot better. Wow, I'm so proud of myself that I am consistently taking my supplements. You know, I'm not making that as an excuse. I'm taking it on time and I'm following the protocol that my practitioner is giving me, right? These are the things that we need to be mindful of. Another thing I want you to really think about is whether or not you are really showing up for yourself. This is going to be a different perspective, but are you focusing on superficial things, superficial solutions, and not actually addressing things that are at a deeper level? For example, a lot of people resort to strict diets and supplements. And I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but it needs to be said because it's it's still happening out there, right? A lot of us focus on superficial solutions like strict diets, like supplements, like cleanses. And those are the things on the external that we think we need to focus on because in a way, it's like a mask. It detaches us from feeling the need to actually work on our emotions and work on our traumas and work on our mental root causes. Because as soon as we focus on our external reality and things where we don't have to put much emotion into, like going on a diet, taking supplements, you make food, you don't have to think about anything. You just, okay, I just make food. You know, this is like my day to day. I'm going to make vegetables, make chicken and simple as that. But as soon as we need to like sit with our emotions and be like, how do I really feel about myself? What is my self-worth? What is my self-love? We get freaking scared about those questions. We get scared about actually feeling our emotions, but that is actually something that is so important with your healing to look into the other aspects of yourself beyond things like your diet. And, you know, I've seen like real life examples of my clients who have changed their life from shifting the perspective this way, rather than feeling like they need to go on a diet in order to heal. They're like, you know what? I need to work on my mindset in order to heal. They're able to not even be on any kind of protocol with supplements and root causes and things like that. And just purely focus on self-love and self-care, their skin and their symptoms heal. And it's not woo-woo. It's literally science because the gut-skin connection and the gut-brain connection, which I talk about in my membership, the Gut-Brain-Skin Restoration Club, like how it's all connected and how you can literally heal your symptoms from just working on the mind. So I encourage you guys to really reflect on whether you are using your diet as a way to suppress your emotions because you're afraid to feel them or acknowledge that that's what you need to work on and look deeper into that. Because oftentimes what you're avoiding is what you actually need to do. Avoiding the stressor, the trauma, because you don't want to deal with it. It's too much. Resisting mindfulness because you're just not in touch with your emotions. You feel like it's awkward. You're like, ugh, like it doesn't feel right. That's actually a sign that your body probably needs it. Avoiding investing in yourself because you're like, ooh, that's scary. I need to just figure it out on my own because I was always told in my childhood that you got to power through and figure it out on your own and nobody's going to help you and you need to just be independent. But maybe you actually need to step out of your comfort zone and realize that actually healing happens in a community and healing happens when you don't do things on your own and seeing opportunities out there to help you heal faster, right? Sometimes the things you're avoiding is what you need to do and reflect on that, right? Through journaling, not just thinking through it. Literally, I was going to pick up my eyelash thing, eyelash curler and be like, write your emotions down, but I don't have a pen here. But pen to paper in your journal 
What are you avoiding? How are you feeling? Are your thoughts aligning to your actions? Truly, because if they're not, then that's a question you want to think about with your healing journey. Because that could literally be the game changer in being stuck where you are to seeing amazing transformation just like that. Okay? That's what I have for today's episode. I hope it helps you reflect a little bit more about your healing journey. I'm in this era of just like reflection and rethinking about my life and how I see myself and everything like that. So this is something I'm learning in my healing journey right now. And I hope this resonates. I hope this is a different perspective that you may need to hear today. If you found this episode helpful, You know, by sharing it, by leaving a review is going to help me so much with this podcast. And yeah, if you need more support, if you are ready to heal your mind, your gut, your skin, this is what the membership is all about. You can join in the show notes below and we start this Thursday, October 3rd. And I love you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. Let me know how things go with your journaling and reflection and we will see you guys in the next episode.